Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley, where the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to check a chest. Oh, you are right in the comments. Thank you so much for letting me know. I'd completely forgotten I put those there. Ah, oh, well, I'm feeling much better now because I'm fairly certain you can only get those shells in summer. Right, fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, what a horrible fortune I have. Number one source for weather news and entertainment. What's the forecast for tomorrow? It's going to be a clear and sunny to uh, day tomorrow. Perfect weather for the dance of the moonlight jellies. The event will take place on the beach starting between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't be late, even though it is a late time to show up. And... Oh, how, how did I miss that you were stood there? Hello, Shane. Hey. This music sounds far too upbeat. Oh, man. Uh... How do I say this? Take your time, mate. It's fine. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened at the cliffs. That was... Embarrassing. Uh, it wasn't embarrassing. It, we've all been at a low point in our lives. I'm glad I was there to help. You needed a serious wake-up call. Or, oh, I'm just happy you're still here. Um... Well, I'm not going to say that one. Um... I mean, I am glad I was there to help, and I am just happy that you're still here. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you're still with us, mate. Wow, was that serious, huh? I can hardly remember. Hmm. I do not want to remember. I mean, you know, either way, that's fine. I've decided I want to see a therapist, though. Harvard got me in touch with a colleague of his. I'm glad you taking that step. It's a difficult one, but an important one. Anyway, I, I just wanted to thank you for taking care of me. And I want you to know that I'm going to take things a little more seriously from now on. Alright. Well, at your own pace. Don't try to hurdle before you can run, but I'm glad that you're... I'm glad that you are looking for a solution to it, rather than just trying to hide from the problem. I don't want to be a burden to, on anyone. I don't think anyone wants to be a burden on anyone. Ah, oh, shame. Okay, well. Still a bit of lingering feels there from the events of the last episode. Wow, that episode was heavy, though. My goodness. It looks like we've got quite a lot of uh, crops to water. Quite a lot of crops to harvest as well, which is rather awesome. There we go, and this one, let's grab all of you. We've got no trash today. That is always a very good sign. Very good. I, I really do like that sign in particular. Now, normally I'd say, oh, well, there's no point in watering anything this close to the uh, end of the season. Nothing will survive the transition. That is not true of these um, things, though, of the hops. They will give you one more harvest since they give you a harvest every single day. It's totally worth getting the speed grow on them because you'll get that many more days worth of harvesting. Uh, let's go there. I wonder what tool I'll upgrade next and when I'll even upgrade it. I think that the pickaxe is the one I'm going to go for just so that I can get a little bit deeper in the mine overall. But uh, definitely getting the watering can upgrade might be cool in the very near future. Um... Let's get all of these done. Man, we are going to have so much work, though. Taking care of all the crops. How how much is it to make one of those sprinklers? Gold bar. Ugh, that's expensive. All right, well, let's grab all of the radishes. Oh, radishes. I am going to take you on an adventure. It is going to be the best and also the last culinary adventure of your lives. Ah, there we go, leaving. I'm going to show them such sights. Inside of my mouth, inside of my throat, inside of my stomach. I would like to say that the adventure would end there for them, but there are going to be some horrors in this adventure. No good adventure, uh, no adventure is worth its salt if there, there aren't some dark places that you end up going. But uh, yes, let's try not to think about that too much. Hello, Robin. Be patient, I still have a lot of work to do. I'm, I, I'm just, I was going to offer you a cuppa. My goodness. Are the bats being kind to us today? No. 
The bats have not. The bats care little for us. Scallywag bats. Well, I may as well water those plants. Though I doubt the tomato and the pepper are going to survive it. But the corn definitely will. I could, in fact, plant the corn now. Um, hmm. I'm told that the... the, the um... The fertilizer will absolutely, definitely persist. Given that, yeah, maybe. Maybe I will, then. Uh, I'm going to take all, like, a good chunk of you. Hmm. Let's pop a bit back there. In fact, let's pop eight back there. There we go. Uh, anything else I want to sell? Sure, I'll bring the gold star radishes. But I'll take one and I'll put it in here, because you never know. Uh, we've got the rainbow shell, we've got the mail shorts. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the mail shorts yet. I'm going to keep them as I try and decide. Because I've got a bit of a mixed response in the comments. Some people have flattered said, yes, I put them in the Grange display. It was amazingly funny. And then other people have said, yeah, I put it in the Grange display and nothing happened. The problem with this situation is that these are two mutually exclusive events. It's not even something you'll be confused about. I feel like I'm being led astray. You either put them in the Granger's display and something happened, or you put them in the Granger's display and nothing happened. You, you can't be confused about this. Oh, I hate to think that the dapplings are, are trying to be scallywags, but hmm, I suspect someone may not, not be telling me the complete truth. Uh, either way, I'm gonna have to think about it. I still, uh, I'm really leaning towards not though, because I don't want to. I don't want to embarrass Marnie. Summer is a good time to eat a refreshing salad, don't you think? Indeed. I have some things to sell. There we go. So many things to sell. You can also have this. Um, I could. Yeah, alright then. I have no idea how many I've got there. So I'm going to grab 30 and hope for the best. And it should be fine. In fact, let's go, go over there and we can um, water them when we're there. And then we can head up to the baths and maybe even head over to the cave. I think that might be pretty cool. If we can get deep enough that we can start getting gold ore, that would be very cool. There we go. Right, so how is this going to do for us? Actually, I need to pop the... Ooh, got a battery. I need to pop those in there. I'll also grab you. Right, let's go and get these planted then. So, nine. Not quite. Still got ten to go, that's fine. Oops, a daisy. Not quite what I meant to do, but okay. That's five. There we go. I still want this. I just accidentally picked it up. There we go. Right, let's get ourselves some fertilizer as well, and then we're sorted. Now, we'll we'll see if this actually works out as people have said. Apparently, this is meant to stay for crops that can exist across multiple seasons. We'll see, because that does run contrary to what I thought happened, but, you know, it wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. It wouldn't be the last either. There we go, just get all of this watered as well. And then we can head off to the bathhouse, I think. We'll also then go check out... Well, we've got to be up there anyway to hand in the... Um, the rainbow shell. So, makes sense. There we are. Oh, scallywags. Oop, another battery. Thank you. Now, it does take a little while for those uh, batteries to actually get made. So it's good to have a good number of uh, of lightning rods to try and capitalize on them when they're there. I yeah, I'm not going to be getting the trees. I I know I was kind of umming and ahhing over that in the last episode, and I still may change my mind. But I'm really starting to set on the idea of just yeah, I'm just going to let the fates decide. If I'm meant to have that, then the bats will deliver it all. And it's only the greenhouse that I really care about getting in the first year because then it allows me to grow something all the way through winter and actually start preparing things ready. Um, oh, hi. Abigail, what are you up to? Oh, yeah. 
You can't miss tomorrow's festival. It's one of the most beautiful wonders of the valley. Okay, I'll do my best. Is this the box that I need? No. How about the one in here? Yes! You throw the shell into the box, immediately a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done. Your next task, place ten beats inside the mayor's fridge. Mr. Key. Very well, Mr. Key. I swear that's changing colour. Is it? Am I going mad? I'm pretty sure that is changing colour. Here you go, Abigail. Hey, how do you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Ah, uh, well, you know... I might be weirded out by that, because I'm fairly certain that you're not meant to eat that particular plant, but... You know what? Actually, I, I, I really don't know. Sweet pea might be edible. However, no matter what, Abigail eats inedible things all the time. At least she isn't going to shatter her teeth on a flower. Not the same can be said about diamonds. Though, if that is her natural food, one must assume that she has evolved to be able to consume it. So she might have teeth whose enamel is actually harder than diamond. That would be particularly interesting. Uh, what we got there? Just another place we need to go. That's fine. <sighs> Why do I never see anyone else in here? That is one thing I, 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 I keep bringing up. There are many things. There are many just one thing that I like about Rune Factory Frontier. The bath house scenes are particularly humorous, though. There's always someone in the baths, depending on which time you go. And some of those interactions are amusing. Some of them are cringy, but most of them are amusing. Alright. Now then, what are we going to find? I think we should head down into the mines today. Uh, grab that. Uh, hey, Linus. Would you like a grape? This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. Um, would you like a sweet pea? This is a super gift. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Maru. Hey, have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Um... You'd think I would, considering I live on a wilderness farm, but no, actually. I mean, except that time where I just basically ran circles around bats and golems, trying not to have to kill them because I'm just so deadly. Oh, guess not. Sorry, I, I did take a while, didn't I? Hmm. That was a little bit rude, though, Maru. Man. Let's have a look. How am I faring? I've got six hearts with Emily, six hearts with Maru, six hearts with Shane, five with Demetrius. Five with Haley. That's uh, actually fairly impressive. Once I get Pam her gift, she'll be pretty happy, I fancy. Right, well, I've got a lot of things that I need to drop off in the chest, because I just don't have any reason to take them down with me. And that includes the axe. There is no reason to take the axe. There is only a slight reason to take the fishing rod. I take it every single time, even though that's dumb. But there's really only a very slight reason to, to bring it with you. You should only really be bringing it to very certain levels where you might be able to, to fish. Because you can actually get some pretty uh, awesome fish from it. I think there's uh, the ghost fish being one of them. But there's also other ones that are just um, really valuable fish. That you might want to keep your eye out for. Now, is there a way down? I'm actually more interested in going down today than anything else. I would just like to get to level 60 if I can. If I can do that without having to kill the dust sprites, I'll be happy with this. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be an obvious way to do that down here. The, I don't know if it's just me, but my experience has been that there's a much higher chance of getting the stairs down by killing one of the monsters on the level than there is by just randomly mining. Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't appear that that was the case today. Alright, what I wouldn't give for a little bomb. I really should start making bombs to go mining with. Once I'm beyond the point where I desperately need the coal and the copper, because there's a lot of farm buildings that I need right now that do need copper. Least of all, the tree taps, um, the silos. I'm going to need a lot of silos, ultimately. Going the rancher route, I'm going to need a lot of silos. But, yeah, copper eventually becomes more or less a non-issue. Oh, man, this is rubbish. Ah, there we go. At least I got something. Ah, finally! Took me forever. Oh, there we are. Thank you very much. There we go. 
Copper is not a non-issue at the moment, so anytime I see copper, especially this deep in the mines, it is a good thing. Let's grab you as well. Very nice, though. You, you'd start to think that uh, iron was the non-issue, but it's only because I'm in an area where iron is prolific that I'm getting so much. Once we're beyond the snowy biome, iron is going to dry up again, and we're going to start getting gold more than anything. And yes, I am going to mine this whole thing. It's a bit less worth it until you get a really good pick. But eventually, these are very much worth mining because you get more stone out of that for less attacks than anything else. There we go. Hello, bat. Yep. Is that it? Is there anything else? No. Okay, well, let's head down to level 57 then. Uh, level 57. It's got some beautiful music. And a way down straight away. Is there anything else here for me to, to do? Uh, it looks like there is. A little bit. We might find some geodes, perhaps. Always good to get geodes. Especially later on when you have the uh, talent, which allows you to get two every time you get, get a geode. Same with gems. So worthwhile. So worthwhile. Hello. There we go. Makes my job a little bit easier. Um, sure, we'll head on down. Oh, hello. A ghost. Means we'll get a solar essence. Nope. Alright, well, let's mine this rock while we wait for the ghost to come back. Unfortunately, they've got... They've got very little mass, as one might expect from a ghost. Also, they teleport, which is kind of annoying. But, uh... It does mean that you have amazing knockback against ghosts. I'm going to preempt that and eat a field stack now just to rise my energy a little bit. Plus to restore a little bit of health. I wish you could do something with those those cave areas. I wish you could actually go on a proper little exploration. It would make it pretty cool, I think. Ooh, amethyst! It's a little bit late for Penny, but uh, I know a certain Abigail and a certain Emily who would like amethyst, actually. I've got an aquamarine for Emily. On that note, I really should start carrying them around, so uh, if I happen to run across them in my travels, then I can just hand it over. Ooh, a jade. How marvellous. There we go. This looks like a pretty uh, good level, honestly. All things told. Nope, sorry. Now you're against the wall. It's all over for you. All right, let's have a look in here. This should be cool, I imagine. Lots of precious, glorious coal. And what else we can find? And a way down. Marvellous. And some more coal. I deeply approve. And our way down. Oh, no, this is going to be one of those spirally ones. Uh, it's 11 a.m. Uh, 11 p.m., rather. It wouldn't be a problem if it was 11 a.m. Mm. I'm thinking I might just have a peek, but I'm probably not going to go around this spiral. It would take me too much energy, and it would take me too long to get back. Unless I can see something amazing in there. Oh, there often is, though. That's the annoying thing. There often is something really good back there. Hello. No. Absolutely not. I'm going to try and do it without having to mine, because if I can get through there without doing much mining, then... No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get back there. I spent way too long getting to the middle, and then I wouldn't have enough time to get back out of the mine, unfortunately. Uh, it's a shame, but it does happen. I was so close. But we'll just go down, since there is a, a stairwell over here. That way we've unlocked level 60. And we get a chest. And what are we going to get in the chest? We have got a crystal dagger. Fantastic. You received a crystal dagger. Let's have a look at that. That does 4 to 10 damage versus my 12 to 25 minus 2 speed, but it gives me plus 50 crit chance and plus 5 weight. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't think so. I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm a big fan of that one. We'll see. We will see. But uh, for now, I'm not too much of a fan. Um, I don't really care to bring these with me, honestly. I guess I'll grab those, though. Uh, is there anything else I really don't care about? 
that I've got loads of. No, I think we're think we're good. Right, time to get back then. We should have plenty of time at this point to get back to our hut. Now our hut, my house. Um, there is, of course, it'll be the twenty eighth tomorrow. I have to remember. I have to try very hard to remember to try and get the Junomo plush. I've remembered it before the twenty eighth. You'd think that more or less guarantees it, but oh, we would be wrong. We will see. If I forget, I'm going to laugh so hard. I won't even be able to be angry. It'll just be hilarious that I am such a derp. But it is entirely possible that that will occur. Um, uh, let's see. We'll drop that off. I guess I'll drop these off in there. Sure. And then over here, I'll drop those off. Let's get these down. Drop those in. I want to have the iron smelting and the copper smelting. There won't be enough copper then, but I'll keep the iron on me. And I guess I'll just leave that there. Okay. And that's it for me. Right. Bedtime. Ooh. Pale ale done. Yay. Okay. Not quite bedtime. What I would like is... Uh, e well, no. No, that one can stay. We will, however, have a melon wine. Oh, it's going to be grand. It's going to be grand. And then I'm going to sleep. Yes, sleep for the night. It is Betty to buy his time. Doesn't look like I made much money, but I did. Because we sold to Pierre. Here. cock a doodle do Right, okay, so we've got something for Pam. We've also got a bunch of other things down here. Let's have a look. What do you say? No? Not going to tell me? Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. I have not once seen that act, that animation. That is remarkably awesome. I approve. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've, se I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Oh, thank you very much, Emily. I love your little... You actually ha have a stamp, don't you? Because this is a letter. This isn't an email. This is a letter. She's got a little stamp. And, I mean, it's got multiple colours. So it's not even like she's just stamping it in just an inkwell. She's painting onto this stamp. Or she painted that onto this. But I've seen that icon too many times to believe it's painted. Unless she's got, like, copper plate handwriting or something. Be right back. Tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. They're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. Thank you very much, Demetrius. I will indeed try to join in. Ah, right. Well, that has got a very special place to go. That is going specifically into... Uh, Right, let me just get uh, the pickaxe will do. That one is going to go specifically into the animal bundle. Or I could turn it into cloth. Ooh. Maybe I should. I can make a loom. It's like 60 wood, 35 or 1 pine tar. I probably already got that. Also, I need to go and... Oh, it isn't finished yet. Oh, no! Robin's taking the day off. She always takes the day off before things, before festivals. Uh, I assumed that she would finish it on... Uh, I kind of assumed that, that she would get that finished before the festival, but no. Silly me. Silly me. Did not account for that properly. And I am a derp. I have no idea if coffee survives through the summer. I'm very certain it doesn't, though. I'll water it now, I guess, but I'm very certain that they're, they're gonna die. Calm down, Nathan. It's okay. It's not that hot. It's getting cooler. We're coming into autumn. The trees are gonna change colours. It's gonna be great. There's gonna be piles of leaves everywhere on the farm that you can just run, roll around in, jump on. And when I like gather them all up, you'll probably just use it as a just giant mound to burrow into. It'll be great fun. For you, mostly, but uh, I'm I, I'm okay with it as long as, as long as you're happy. Have we got any gifts? New no. bats do not love us. 
Right, it's 8.30. Trying to keep my eye on it. And there's no point in working on those, so that's fine. Um, there's actually not much point in this. Oh. Scallywax. Scallywax and scoundrels. I broke my tiles. I do not approve. Let's get those on the go. Um, well, let's have a quick look. The art stand bundle needs cloth. The animal bundle, however, needs wool. Um, since there's a chance that I might just be able to get cloth by itself, I'm going to put the wool in there. Um, though that being said, effectively there's twice as much chance of me getting cloth if I turn... Um, Yeah, yeah, there's twice as much chance of me getting cloth. So I am going to just put the wool in here, because if I get wool or cloth from the merchant, then I can, you know, ultimately turn the wool into cloth. So if I use the wool here, whereas if I you turn this into cloth, then I've only got one chance of getting this, because I have to get wool. Cloth won't do. I can't unmake cloth. So that makes the most sense, I think. Uh, let's drop these off, the last bit of harvest there. Got some trash that I need to pop over here into the recycler. There we are. We also need to drop you off and you. There we go. Everything in its proper place. And we'll drop this off in there and this. Don't need them with me for now. Uh, is there anything else I want to take out with me? I don't really think so. Oh, I could. I could, you know. I could upgrade my pick. I've got enough money for it. That would be a big thing. Very big thing. I need a lot more wood to be able to afford the house upgrade as well. And Robin's not going to do it for now. So I think the best thing to do would literally be to go and find... Uh, yeah. To go and see if Clint will, will make that for me. Well... If I'm going to go and see Clint, I may as well bring along all my geodes as well. Uh, with all my geodes, there we go. Now, was there anything else I wanted to make quickly before I left? I could make the, the loom, but I'm not going to. Um, I could make another keg at this point, which would be quite nice. I could make another bee house at this point, which would be quite nice. Yeah, there's quite a few things that I'm going to be able to do soon. Uh, I can make a quality sprinkler, uh, sorry, a sprinkler for keeping flowers going. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of stuff that I can do, and I can do all of it when I come back later. So we're off. We're off to possibly get the Juno plush. I'm still thinking about it. I'm having to constantly keep that thought in my mind, otherwise I will miss it. And I've got to be there at exactly 12 o'clock. There's no other time. 12 o'clock or bust. I am taking a slight risk by running to Clint's first. We will see. I don't think it's too much of a risk. We might be okay. Depends if I stop and talk to people. Like Mayor Lewis. Like if I walked back and talked to him and then walked all the way around to Clint's again. That would be a risk. But I'm not doing that because I'm not dumb. I am dumb. I'm just not doing it this once. I'm not being quite as dumb. But I did walk around to talk to Clint. Don't you have work to do? Yes, I do. I've got to get a Juniper plush. But first... Process geodes. I almost started to upgrade my tool first, and that would have been dumb. Ah, some coal. Thank you very much. Okay, have we got that one? Fairy stone, I believe we do. And, ooh, I don't believe we've had the ocean stone. And some now regular stones. We've also got the aronite. A frozen tear. Twenty! Iron. Wow, that's like a that's a whole trip of mining there. And an ancient drum. Ye gads, Clint. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot in my excitement. Wait, 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 wait. Need you to upgrade my pickaxe, please. I can make what? Oh right, right. It's it's just telling me what I could make if I had Right, okay. Yes, I would like this, please. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. That is fine. I can't go mining for a little bit, but that is okay. Uh, no. Too risky. Too risky. I will forget. I will forget, and then I'll hate myself. And everyone in the comments will hate me too. 
Well, Milos, say, are you growing any blueberries on your farm? I am indeed. I do enjoy a fresh blueberry. Uh, no, I don't have any with me. I've got an aquamarine. It looks like a blueberry, kind of, in a certain light, but I don't recommend you eat it. Or maybe I should. Maybe it would be a funny joke. Uh, good times. I would, but I can't. I can't afford to. I must... I must be up here. If I get distracted somehow, and I'm literally stood there, and I miss the 12... Because uh, I only have, like, a few seconds in which to do this. Like, you've got just a couple of seconds to make it work. This is the bush, apparently. I think, maybe. That one. Maybe it's this one. Oh, I don't know. There's a couple up here. We'll try. Okay. Come on, 12 o'clock. Come on, 12 o'clock. Like, seven seconds per ten minutes. Ha-ha! Got you! You received a Juno World plush! It is the best plush. It looks like a giant apple. I wonder if the Juno Wells are giant apples. I think there is only one way to find out. It involves sending them on the greatest, but possibly the last, culinary adventure of their lives. Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience, you see. Well, I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Yeah, sure, I mean, send out some flyers or something. You're a good doctor. Um, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, it's so hot in here. Well, I'm not sure what I can say. Uh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't go in and interrupt their, their chat. I mean, how am I meant to know that? But honestly, just wandering into someone's bedroom anyway is a little bit strange, you know? Come on. Don't just wander into someone's bedroom. It's never okay. Hello? Nope. I mean, unless you really know them well, and you know for a fact that they won't... They won't be in the middle of anything that you really don't want to bust in on. I mean, come on. It's just safer if you don't. Even if you're great friends. There are certain things that friends don't want friends to see. Um... Emily? Ooh. What have I walked in on? Straight into Emily's room. See, we're good enough friends, I think. Come in, Amber. I want to show you something. Say, yep. Yeah. Emily's, probably Emily's friends with everyone, though. Emily's just lovely. Everyone is a friend, especially the parents. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now, sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? Ah, oh, this place is pretty cool, actually. Ooh, the parrot is excited. <laughs> She's clapping in touch with the music. Look how happy she looks. This is making me unreasonably happy right now. Oh my god, my brain. I like how the, the parrot's joining in, though. That bum wiggle, though. Wow. Hang on a second. Were you, were you just wagging your finger at me? Did you did you hear what I thought in my head? I gotta be honest. It, I'm fairly certain that we saw this scene last time, but it was nothing like this. This is like the scene from the last series to the nth degree. I feel I may be on drugs. It's still there. So, what do you think? <laughs> that was embarrassing. No, <laughs> say nothing and do a slow clap. I, 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 it's. I mean, I can't really even form words at the moment, anyway. So yes, that's probably the only thing I can do. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to bottle up whatever you just did to my brain, though, and sell it. We would be bajillionaires. Phew, that was quite a workout. It was worth it. It was awesome. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Wow. Ah, that's that's right. I have seen this scene before, but I, I'm fairly certain it wasn't quite as crazy and trippy as that, though I could just be remembering it wrong. But that's right. At this point, 
And I got this scene much later in my first season playthrough. And I'd been very, very concerned. Well, concerned is the wrong word, but I was like, mm, I'm not sure about marrying Abigail. She seems very young. Um, she was talking about doing homework and things like that. Whereas when she said graduation fiesta, I, I, it was like, oh, so she's graduated from uni or... At least she's graduated from high school. That's not really something that we do in the UK so much. You don't really have a graduation ceremony for high school. It's mostly a uni thing. But assuming this is like... A, I mean, it doesn't make sense that she's still doing homework if she graduated from uni, unless she's doing a PhD. In which case, she's doing it very young. Wow, amazing. Also, you wouldn't really call it homework at that point. You really wouldn't. So th at this point, it was like, she must be in uni. So that, that gives me an age range that I'm much more comfortable with. But unfortunately, it happened very late in the first season. So uh, by then, it was too late. That that ship had sailed. <sighs> well, I'd better take a shower. Thanks for watching. You're more than welcome. Also, that parrot was amazing during during all of that. How long did it take you to train your parrot to join in? Also, here you go for that fantastic display. His gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. That dance was fabulous. Thank you so much. Okay, we're off. Oh, my lord. Hey, Vincent. Hey there, mister. Have I got any grapes? I do! Here you go. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. You are more than welcome. Also, Jazz. I love presents. Thank you. Oh, today is a good day. All of the good things are happening. Oh, my lord. Emily's hearts are already up to seven. Marrow's is up to six now. Mm. Oop. Whoop, 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 ha, 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 Abigail. Yes, today is an amazing day. All of the gifts. And it's kind of cool that it's happening all on the, uh, the night of the Moonlight Jellies. Oh, well, uh, the afternoon of the Moonlight Jellies. I seriously love this. You're the best, Abigail. You are more than welcome. Do you ever get the urge to go exploring? All the time. Maybe we'll be neighbours someday. I think we both have similar weird tastes. I don't even consider them weird, but I guess I kind of acknowledge that they are not... They are not... They don't conform to the... The norm, let's say. But I still don't think they're weird. I think they're sensible. I just think that everyone else who's normal is just... They haven't opened their minds to the possibilities that exist beyond their bubble. It makes my soul weep a little bit. But as long as they're happy... Hello, merchant. Artichoke dip. Don't need it. Iron bar for 800. Don't need that. Large goat milk, take. Large goat milk, get. More to the point. Uh, ooh, that rug, though. <laughs> cactus root as well. Do I need cactus root? I don't believe I do. The large goat milk. That is amazing. Now means I don't need to get goats. That is really good. So if I put in the wool and the goat milk, all I need is ducks, chickens, and cows to get that bundle. The artisan bundle, uh, it's going to be hard. I mean, I'd need sheep for that. I need goats to get the goat cheese, so I still need goats. But um, still, it's better to use this on the, the goat's milk, since I, I have to have goat's milk for that. And large goat's milk as well, so that's like three layers of difficulty. Because you can get goat's milk, goat's cheese, large goat's milk. Um, because large goat's milk just makes a better goat's cheese, but it's still goat's cheese. So, you know, this is a one in three chance of, of filling that one particular slot. Whereas, I could get any one of those three and fill the other one. But, is there any need for cactus fruit at all? Uh, I don't think so in here. Let me have a look. Anything? Do I need it for anything? Need three apples for that, but that's fine. I'll get them in time. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I don't need the cactus fruit. In that case, I could take the rare seed. Um... Oh, you got that beautiful red rug. Damn it, I haven't bought something for me in ages. I demand something for me. I will brook no opposition in this. Uh, I kind of want to go to the forest, but I haven't got enough room in my inventory anyway. That's a bit of a pain. I ended up with far more stuff in my inventory than I meant to have. Alright, we're heading back. 
We're going to drop off some things, and then I'm going to try and pop into the forest and see if I can't find some mushrooms. There we go. Got to walk slowly through the grass. It's all grown back, as you can see. Grass grows really fast in those particular circumstances. Take that as well. I don't think I can pick you up, can I? No. Oh, there's something on the floor. There we go. Right, drop off these. Um... Oh man, I've got so much things. So many things that I need to send somewhere, mainly to Gunther. Uh, drop these off. Organize my inventory. Grab you. Start smelting more. Oh, that, uh, that iron, though. That was amazing to get that much iron. Absolutely fantastic. Right. I have got a... My lord is gigantic. If I leave it there, I might get nightmares. I don't know. It looks too cute to give you nightmares, but you never know. Uh, can I rotate this? Yes, I can. Um, can I have that next to... Well, maybe... No, no, no. What we're going to do... Ah, damn it. I can't look. Aha! I can. My house is getting very crowded. We need an upgrade so bad. There. Um... Yeah, well, I guess it'll have to just be that way for now, but later on. Later on, we'll do other things. Uh, we'll drop this off as well. We'll drop this off as well. I think we're actually doing really well. Really, really well. We'll drop off the sweet peas. And in fact, I think I'll drop off the grapes as well. This is going into the produce bin, though. These will stay on my hotbar so that I can very rapidly set all of that up later. I need to grab these, though. Before I forget, drop them off. Do I have any more? I think I need three. There we go. I'll replace my path as well. Oh, I actually need, only need two. Well, scallywags. Uh, well, I'm not carrying you around. You can go in the trash. Or on the floor. But mostly in the trash. Okay. Right. Now, back to the forest. Where hopefully I will find a red spotted mushroom. Or just various other mushrooms. It's all good. Make sure it's Pam is thirsty. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm hopefully going to get Pam is thirsty done today. Make sure it's still debating. Still debating. Still haven't made up my mind. It's a constant debate in my mind. I never really stop thinking about things that I'm trying to make a decision on. Just kind of sit there in the back of my head for a while. Ow! That was just uh, totally uncalled for. And now I'm slow. I'm slow on a day where I need to be fast. Slime, you were wretched. Is it any wonder that, uh, that so many of you die all the time? <sighs> there we go. And... This one as well. There we go. Anything else? No, I'm not really seeing anything. I'm not going to go out of my way to kill the slimes. If they get in my way, then maybe, but otherwise, they're fine. I'm hoping for some mushrooms. I th are they a fall-only crop, perhaps? It might be. Were you trying to ambush me? I totally did not mean to do that. Oh, what? What the dickens? What has happened? Ah! It seems that in the last words... It works the opposite of everywhere else. Everywhere else gets darker, but in the last one it says it gets later and later and later. It gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Just because, contrary, it just feels like being different. Fair enough. I think we've made some bloody amazing progress in this episode, though. We've got the Junimo plush. Finally, people can stop reminding me in the comments. Thank you so much, by the way, though. It didn't get irritating at all. I was desperately in need of those constant reminders. And I thank you immensely. Because now I've got a Junimo plush and we can all stop worrying about it. Hey Sam, when you see how the air balloons drifting over the sea, you'll know the summer's in full swing. Um, sure. Ooh, there we go. It is now getting on. Hey Clint, going in for some uh, refreshments for the festival? <sighs> I wasn't very productive today. On the I mean, I was, but I guess that wouldn't help you feel any better. Yeah, that, that doesn't help, actually. Right, Pam. Give me that. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's the stuff. 
It's real nice and hoppy, notes of citrus and pine, but with a robust body to keep it grounded. Thanks, kid. This means a lot to me. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Welcome, Pam. Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Yep. She's enjoying my uh, my culinary skills. I mean, I'm not sure. Would that be considered culinary? My brewing skills, I guess. Ham is hankering for pale ale. There we go. 350. Perfecto. Hi there, Havak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Hey, Emily. Enjoy your shower. Don't tell anyone about the dance. That was for your eyes only. Ooh. Okay. Between you and me. My lips are sealed. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of time to kill. So, how about we head on up and hand in these items? I don't actually remember Emily saying it was for your eyes only last night. She may have. But, uh... It's interesting how if you talk to someone after they have a, uh, a cutscene, they, they may say things that... that Otherwise, you'd miss if you don't talk to them on the day. But there we go. Made some good progress. I just now need the eggs, really. I could I could get large, white, large, brown, and a duck egg. And then we'd be done. And that would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, I think I'm going to... Head back to the house. I don't see much reason to, to hang out outside at the moment. Let's head back. We can get a little bit more iron going, and I can use my ocean totem to jump back. The first tree chopping time. Here we go. Need a little bit more wood. There we are. Actually, it doesn't make too much sense to be chopping from that side. It may fall over the fence, and then I won't be able to get it. That would make me sad. Right, it's begun at the beach. I need to be on my way back there right now. Okay. We'll drop these off. I've got four. I'm going to have five. I could get my watering can upgraded to steel. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. I need I need to keep the money, basically. I've got enough crops that I should be able to just go out and sell a load of my crops on the morrow to make enough uh, money to, to get the, the things planted, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I need my beach totem. Fazoom! you got to say the word, otherwise it doesn't work. Is anyone down here? Yes, they are. For a moment, I thought, oh, no, I've broken it in some way. Uh, hey, Pam. Hope that pale ale was good. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. Gus, I would never try it, of course. I just dream of it. Gus, that's... There's a darkness in you. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. I would say it was easy. I don't think easy really applies to something that doesn't try. I want to see the red green jelly. I have got a sneaking suspicion you will. I wonder if they're poisonous. Probably. Quite a lot of jellyfish are. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Yeah, that would probably be wise, honestly. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Hmm. Just trying to scare you. Uh, it didn't work so much as made me curious if there would be some sort of Halloween special Thuddy Valley spin-off. Such a rare and exciting thing. Indeed. I think you'll probably appreciate it uh, more than most of us. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. Oh, don't worry. Your memory is one of the best cameras in the world. Can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I feel like it's been going on too long, frankly. There's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. <laughs> there is a wisdom in that, Marnie. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Hey, Linus. 
I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. And sometimes I... It makes me sad when you say things like that, but then I guess you kind of... I don't know. Maybe you just don't want to be... around them. Hey, Leah. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. See, when you say that you're sad that summer is gone, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, I am now as well. I'm sad because you're sad. And Alex says, I'm like, I'm just glad. I'm glad it's gone. And it's not because I don't like Alex. I think I think it's quite the opposite. I, I think it's just that I like Leah. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. Or maybe you're just not good at hiding. I'm here to observe the lo Luna Loos, or Moonlight Jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life. I love the, the name Luna Loo. I think everyone in this valley should call them Luna Loos. Moonlight Jelly, what a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. It's unknown why they're attracted to light. Very curious. <sighs> That's my bad time. Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it myself. It actually looks really nice. I haven't shown it on camera yet, but I know what it looks like. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. I'd offer you my jacket, but I can't talk to you again at this point. It's like, I have one chance. Preemptively offer jacket or not. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. I am sure you're not alone. Hello, George. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? No, I just said hello. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. Oh, Evelyn, you're cute. But that was long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. I'm sure you still jump in your heart. These candles are romantic, aren't they? They are, and I should probably leave you and Pierre alone, but I'm going to talk to Pierre anyway. Psst. Make sure to swim by in the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Pierre. Your wife puts up with a lot from you. you unromantic sod. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. See, I like that. I, because when you first read it, uh, they've been here a year ago, and you, they'll be here a year again. You almost think it's going to go into, why do we even bother? It's just always going to be the same. But then it's like, nature is amazing. You, you do have your moments, Shane. And they are glorious moments. I hope there are babies this year. I'm sure there will be. Good evening, Avak. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Hey, Willie. Most night fish would be scared of the lights. These are strange ones. There, I just saw it glowing. Oh, it's gone. Don't worry, I'll be back. Hello, marvelous man. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. That is a bit of a glum thought. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. Some of us do. Maybe it's not too late to change. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh, Clint. I'm sorry, man. I will stand next to you all night. Wearing my not special shoes, my muddy farmer shoes, just so that yours look even more awesome by comparison. But first, I'm going to talk to Emily. Look out there, at the endless sea, deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? Eerie and beautiful. Okay, what do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yes, I think you should. I quite like this little scene. Are all the other candles are out now? I remember thinking that, oh, isn't there going to be music? This is such a an awesome scene for music. And then I was so happy the first time when the music actually started. And the music is lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Emily's hair looks lovely, actually, in the night. It matches the ocean. On that note, so does Abigail's. 
not quite the same blue, but... There's the babies for Jazz. And there's the green jelly for Vince. But Vince is looking the wrong way! Vince, turn around, you fool! I can't shout unless I scare them away, even though I'm fairly certain they can't hear. Vince! Sam, tell your brother! Ugh. Fishing spot. Willie, grab your rod. I really like the music there, though. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. A poetic end to the night. Ah, what a wonderful day that was, though. Very, very touching. Right, let's drop off the spoils. I've now got six bars of iron. I could upgrade my watering can to steel. Now, if you upgrade your watering can to steel, it means you can water five tiles in a row. And honestly, there was a big part of me that was like, well, I don't really think I want to plant too many crops this fall. Even though I don't have the animals set up yet, I don't really want to plant the crops because it'll be so much time to water them. But knowing that I've got that much iron there, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just... I'll take the hit of the first couple of days will be really a tough slog. But following that, we should be able to get some real good money coming, coming in. Um, autumn seeds, you get quite a few. Um, cranberries are a great earner. For example, pumpkins are amazing, but they take much longer to grow. We've also got four rare seeds that we're going to be planting. But uh, all in all, yeah, I think I think this, this season is done as well. I could go ahead. Um, I do want to upgrade my house, and it's going to cost a lot of money. So we may be a little bit away from getting the, uh, the watering can upgrade. I could use... Yeah, I think I'm going to use... I don't quite have enough... Damn, I don't quite have enough coal. But I am going to use one of them to make... One more apiary. There we are, or beehive rather. And I'll go and plant that down. I think I'll probably also get myself... Another... Um... Sorry, the sprinkler. So I'm probably going to have to use up one other piece of iron as well. So, but there we are. We're slowly starting to build this out. Where the flowers are going to be, I'm thinking here, 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 and down by there as well. But with that, it's time to go to bed. We have outstayed our welcome. The bats are angry. Let's go to sleep, shall we? No star leaf in. No star giant Junomo plush that looks like an apple and very tasty. Go to sleep for the night. Yes. I gave Gus a hard time for thinking about eating the, the Luna Loos, and here I am thinking, oh, those Junomos, if they were this big and had, like, apple leaves sticking out the top. Ah, juicy Junomos. Crisp like an apple. <laughs> but there we are. We're up to 4,555. We could afford to upgrade uh watering can if we wanted to but i think i'm going to give it at least a couple of days i have to regardless because the pickaxe is currently being upgraded but yes so let's have a look here raising animals i've built a coop that is fantastic i will collect that a little bit later but that is going to be it for this episode i hope you've all enjoyed summer is over autumn or fall if you prefer is finally here but that's where we're going to be leaving it for today so do remember to leave a like if you liked sub if you haven't but until next time, take care, everyone.